Hello guys and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we will have a look at how we can save data to your local device. The easiest way to do this is using the player prefs. So let's get started. We will save a username and a user score using these text input fields and use these buttons save and load. And here in this text field we will show the data from the device. Let's go scripting, create C sharp script. We could call it save and load data. And let's double click on the script to load Visual Studio. We don't need the default function, so let's start with deleting these. And I've been using Text Mesh Pro text fields, so let's import the Text Mesh Pro. Now we have to create two public functions that we can access from the buttons. Let's begin with the save function. It goes something like this, public void save data. And here we have to access the public text field. So let's make a line for that as well. Public text mesh pro input field. And let's call that for username. And inside the save data function, we will write the player prefs line. It goes something like this. Player prefs dot settings. And then we have to, there's two arguments. And the first one will be the ID of the string. Let's call that for player name. And the next one will be the actual value. And in this example, we will get the name from the input field text. Now let's go for the load function. We can just copy the first function and paste again. And <clears throat> the function name will be load data and the player prefs will be get string. And we only need one parameter for this and that will be the ID, which is player name. So let's print this to the console window for now, and let's test in Unity. We need to attach the script to a game object. So let's create an empty one and call that for main, and drag the script to the main game object. Or we can drag the input field to the username input field. And now we have to connect the buttons to the script Select button and drag the main game object here and we can uh, select the uh, function. Do the same one with the button load. Click on the plus sign and drag the main game object here and we can select the load data method. Alrighty, let's test. Username is Oxmon and we click on save and then on load. And now we receive the data in the console window. So it works as intended. Now we just have to finish the script. Duplicate the first line and change the username to score. Now we can input the score. We also need a global variable for the output text field. And that is just a text miss text. And we call that for output. And in the save data method, we will copy the first line as well. And we will set that instead of get string, it will be set integer, set int. And we will change the input from username to score. So it will be the score text wiggle, which we'll get the value from. And we have an error here. That's because it's a text. So we have to convert that into an uh, integer. We do that by writing int.pass and put the string inside a bracket. And in the load data, we will go for the output text and it will be something like this. Output.text equals name plus the player prefs dot get string. And then the player name ID, that's just player name. And then we will add the score. Let's begin with a HTML line break. So it's plus and break tag plus score. And then the we have to use to get the data again and the player prefs dot get int. 
and the ID for the int, that would be the score. And we just have to copy that over there as well. My bad. And we have to convert that to a string to show it in a text field. That's it. Let's go back to Unity. And now we have to update the script with the correct text fields. So drag the score and the output text field to the script. And let's test. The player is called Oxmond and the score is 2000. Let's load the data and it's perfect, like almost perfect. I'm missing a space here. Let's try again. And now we just have to load the data and everything is perfect. And yeah, that was it for today, guys. I upload every day, so don't forget to subscribe to get you daily Unity news. And yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow and have fun.